The staff and I have been working hard together all summer long to ensure that our children have everything that they rightfully deserve. We focus on four major things this summer. One, building community and relationships. Any research that you do that focuses on turning schools around includes these things. Building community and relationships. Running a school is very similar to sports. I always make sports analogies because I'm a sports person. Right now, I'm not happy with the way the Giants are starting off their season, but I like to give the example of LeBron James. I think LeBron James is an amazing man. I think he is a phenomenal basketball player. However, in my humble opinion, I feel as though LeBron James still needs to learn how to work in a team, right? We all should have some confidence in ourselves, absolutely. But there are just certain things that are done in life that you cannot do alone. No man is an island. And we need a team of folks working together to ensure that our children have everything that they rightfully deserve. Therefore, building community and relationships is important. You are a part of our community. Matthew Eugene, our councilman, is a part of our community. The 67th Precinct is a part of our community. And I'm continuing to build those relationships with our community so we can service a wide variety of our school community needs. That's how we build our, that's how we will be able to build our school up. So during the summer, I did meet with some of the families, school leadership team, PTA board, and one thing in particular that they were um, very focused on were two things, is can we bring in some more programs for the board? And I totally agree, right? Can we have an after school program? So those are some of the things that I'm working on to make sure we have that in our school. Mid-October, the plan is to offer something in the lines of enrichment clubs where we are reaching a, a variety of our children in terms of providing them with academic and enrichment support. I cannot do that alone. I need the community's help in order for that to happen. So marketing the school, building relationships, those things are key because once, once we're on the map, so to speak, then we will have additional programs and resources in our school community. School environment was another thing that we focused on. So in meeting with the, com the school community, you know they shared certain things with me like the school colors, et cetera, et cetera. So those are things that we wanted to um, pay homage to and make sure we keep some things the same. School environment is key. You know, research shows once again. If you step into anywhere, your home, your business, there, there are some places you, you, you walk into and you're like, oh God, I have to go there again, right? Um, and, and just based on the feedback from the school community, I wanted to make sure that this was a warm and just welcoming, just give it a coat of fresh paint. So we worked hard this summer on making sure that the school environment was conducive to our children because that also plays a part in ensuring that our children demonstrate academic um, progress. So that brings us to number three, building instructional coherence. Yes, and meeting the staff and meeting the families, we love our children and we absolutely must love our children. But this is a school building. We have to make sure that our children are learning. So please, throughout the year, we are going to meet with families to discuss your child's um, academic progress. We are going to meet with families to discuss the data. We are going to meet with families to provide strategies on how we can ensure that our children are demonstrating academic progress. Out of about 180 students in grades three to five, we currently have about 39 students who are on grade level in math and 59 students who are on grade level in ELA. We have a lot of work to do. But I do believe in the team that we have in place, starting with our fabulous assistant principal, Ms. Michelle Hogan, who's in the back over there. And let's give it up for her. 
Ms. Michelle Hogan, and Ms. Um, Rose Ram, the other assistant principal, and the many different staff members that we have around. So everyone plays a role in raising our children, right? The school plays a role in raising our children as well. So the staff that I have here, Ms. Lorraine Winfrey, our RTI coordinator, we have a workshop next week with families where we're going to focus on what are we doing for intervention and prevention to ensure that our children demonstrate academic progress now. And we're not waiting a month before the test. We have to do these things consistently throughout the school year. We have our fabulous guidance counselor, Ms. Jeffers. We have our nurse who plays a role in making sure our children are healthy. We have our parent coordinator, Ms. Fulton. We have our community associate, Mr. Stefan. And we have our support staff, Mr. Tyrone. Every staff member in this in this building plays a role in ensuring that our children demonstrate not only academic but also social emotional progress. Again, yes, it is our job to love our children. Me, you, and I don't know whether you know this or not, but where I come from, I grew up at East New York in Brownsville and Best Side. Where I come from, if you're my people, it's my job to take care of you. Right? So your children are not my children. And I do have two biological children, 22 and 26, both boys. And we know how it is raising boys especially. So I'm so glad you guys are here today so we could join together in this. But both of my boys are college graduates. They're 22 and 26. I started young, but you know, you lift yourself up by your bootstraps and you keep going. I started out in the DOE as a paraprofessional, worked my way up, teacher, staff developer, assistant principal, special ed coordinator, yes. and now principal of Shine Shine 99. And that is our tag name. Guys, this is a business. We are emotionally invested in our children as we should be. But trust and believe, the DOE is a business. Charter schools market their schools. We have to market our school. The more we market our school and say positive things about our school, the more money we will receive. So we can have the additional programs and services that we need. I hear you guys. PS6 is right down the block. They have an array of programs and services. Trust me when I tell you, we will get there. We will get there. But we know Rome was not built in a day. It's only what, day eight now? It's day eight. But last week we had, it went from the superintendent, because I have a boss, I do have a boss, it went from the superintendent and the district su and the assistant superintendent visiting our school. So it was, went from two people to four people to eight people. But based on what I was able to present at this meeting, this round table of eight big bosses in the DOE, they were definitely impressed with the work that the team did. And last week was six days of school. Because this is teamwork. I cannot do this alone. So based on the work that we did thus far in six days, they are willing to adopt our school to provide us with the additional support that we need to ensure that we demonstrate adequate progress. Those are the relationships that we want to build. The more people come in this building, the more they will say, what do you need? And trust me, not only you guys, but the children. I had the student town hall meeting yesterday and the children were sharing with me some of the different things that they would like to see in the building so we can continue to improve our school. Many community members told me that once upon a time, PS399 was considered to be one of the best schools in the district. And they want to get back there. And I want us to get back there. But we have to do this together. So I am encouraging everyone to follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Shine Shine 399. And everywhere you go, you talk about our school because you guys are here. So you're already part of the community. You're here, but we need more families. 
The more families we get, the more money we receive, the more things we can do in terms of programs and services. If you have any issues, just as in any family, let's not talk about it outside. Make an appointment to speak to me, to speak to one of the assistant principals, to speak to Ms. Fulton, and we can work it out. I am a solution-oriented person. First day of school, I heard y'all. Why should get everybody coming out one yard? We change it the next day. No problem. There ain't no problem, and yes, that ain't, there ain't no problem that we can't solve together. But one thing we cannot do is just harp on problems. This, this is going to require a lot of work. We are number 31 in the district of 32 schools. So my message to the staff is, if nothing changes, nothing changes. And I don't know about you, but I like to shine. But we also have to see the vision though. So although we're number 31, we are still going to celebrate us. And if you're following our school on social media, we are celebrating us. That's the vision. You have to see it before you can achieve it. And that's not just some cliche. So although we're number 31 now, we won't be for long. We won't be for long. I believe that, my staff needs to believe that, you need to believe that, and our children must believe that. That's all of us working together in tandem, making sure we demonstrate not only academic, but social, emotional progress as well. So when the letters come home to you, we're doing Spirit Week, and we have Family Day October 13th, and September 29th, I wanna do a community walk. Yes, it's a Saturday. We need to get out there with our signs, with our teachers, marketing our school. We need more families. More families need more money. So when people ask you about 399, you say good things about 399. Not that we're perfect, because nobody is perfect, but we are working together to improve our school. And we do need additional families. I want to once again thank you for being here today and every day. I know that our society is not always kind to our men. You're not celebrated enough or appreciated or valued enough. But we are here, the team, not just Ms. Williams, we are here to tell you that we see you and we appreciate each and every one of you. Many of you bring your children to school every morning Thank you so much. You matter. Fathers matter. The male presence in the life of a child matters. And I just want you to know that we see the king in you. We see it. We see the king in you. Our new chancellor, Chancellor Carranza, I know he's new, just like I'm new, but you have to give new people a chance. But one thing I will tell you about him is he speaks about equity and access all the time. Well, what is equity? What is access? What is fair? We need our fathers and our families of Shine Shine 399 to join us in our fight to ensure that our children have, the, have equity and access to everything that they rightfully deserve. As I said before, September 29th is our community walk. Yes, it is Saturday, but we need to take it to the streets. We need to talk about the good things that are happening at PS399. We have to market our schools. We have to take a page out of the charter school because this is what they do, and they do it well. But they get the funding to do it. And remember I spoke about LeBron James with his Promise School? He has a promise, but he also has the funding that goes along with his promise. Well, Ms. Williams has a promise too. Not only do I have two children, but I think I don't see either. A few days ago, our register was about 346 children. So that means I went from being a mom of two to a mom of 348 children, because I take this very personally. This is not just a job for me. When people tell me 
Oh, you and your boys are the exception. It angers me. We are not the exception. So when your children come home, start talking about class of, I'm class of 30. I'm class of 2031. I'm class of 2032. We have to plant the seed now. Our children come from the lives of kings and queens. We have to feed our children with positive words, with positive affirmations. We have to see this in them before they reach there. So yes, college begins in kindergarten. Those are the conversations we are going to have with children. We are preparing them for their future now. And as I said to the staff, and this is my overall message, so I read the blogs. I like to talk straight to people. I read the blogs. I'm not here to fight with teachers. I am not here to fight with parents. I am here to fight for children. That's what I'm here for, to fight for our children, because they're now my children too. I am here to fight to make sure our children have everything that they rightfully deserve, and I need your help. Because the DOE is a business, and Ms. Bennett, the PTA president, likes to add business of children. But I have to disagree with her on that. We love our children, but the DOE is a business. We, I don't have to tell you about what's, what happens in our society to people like us. I don't have to tell you that. I don't have to tell you that. We know what happens when we don't pour everything that we have into our children as a village because it does take a village. And I am now a part of the village in helping you to raise your children. And so I am here to fight for our children and make sure they have everything, everything that they rightfully deserve. So I want to once again say thank you. Thank you, thank you for trusting me with your children, for sending them to Shine Shine 399 because we have to market ourselves and that is our slogan. Shine Shine 399 because we're shining already. And we're going to do this together. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll continue with our program. All right, thank you, Principal Widow. At this time, I would like to introduce to you an educator, a brother, a voice of the voiceless. And I say that because the speaker he works with incarcerated youth. And we know that most of the time, society would put them on the corner and leave them out. He is the voice of the voiceless. He's an educator, he's a professor, and I'm gonna leave the rest for him to tell you about himself. But I'm speaking of none other than Dr. Victor Ramsey. Can anybody hear me without the mic? Yes. Can you hear me without a mic? Yes. Perfect. I'm a gym, I'm a phys ed guy, so I don't need mics, all right? <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Uh, it is an honor for me to be here. When Ms. Fulton reached out to me and asked me to come through here, what do you think the answer was? Yes. yes. I do this all the time. I work in the Office of School Wellness Program, New York City Department of Education. I'm an ed education administrator who support health and phys ed teachers. And I'm going to tell you the honest truth. I have never never seen this many men gather in one place. Right. Serious, man. Why are you not clapping for yourself? Why are you not clapping for yourself? Come on, let's go. Clap for yourself. This is serious. This is serious, man. So, when I was running yesterday, I was thinking, what am I going to come and say to a group of people? I can't top your speech. I'm sorry. I can't do as good as you do. I can't do it. I'm sorry. But one thing I'm going to say about Miss Williams is that when I met Miss Williams, she was very quiet. I didn't realize she was in a rough volcano like this until I just stood up and listened to you. So I got to commend you. You have my blessings. I think you're going to do very well. Very fitting for you to take over this school. And I trust you. So I 
I dropped off my son to school this morning, it's something I do all the time. I make no excuses. And I don't want any brother, any man to make excuses about not doing the same thing I do. This is the beginning of something that I hear you say that you should continue to do throughout the school year. This should happen all the time. The, the truth of the matter is that there was a fire at King's Plaza last night. Yeah. Oh, the media was there right away, right? Had the brother handcuffed, right? Mm -hmm. But the media here today looking at you brothers up in here. Mm -hmm. We don't get props from things like this, you know? Uh, when I arrived here from Panama, I used to hang out with friends of mine who are no longer around. May they rest in peace and some of them incarcerated. I used to live right here at Martins and Rogers. And I can't begin to tell you how many people I've lost, including my nephew. 